What is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another Wars video. It's been a few weeks, I thought, with the current situation in, in the world that's going on at the moment, and, you know, the uploads that I've been putting in over the summer and over the lockdown period, I thought, I'll, I'll give myself a couple of weeks break, and, well, it's just ironic really, in the couple of weeks that I've not been uploading to this channel, well, what has happened? Well, for starters, we've been knocked out of the Europa League by, well, a very good Sevilla side that actually went on to win the tournament. We've sold our best, well, one of our best players that has stayed with us through thick and thin for a price which, in my opinion, and me many other Wolves fans' opinions from, from looking at on social media and stuff, is, is absolutely ludicrous and we should have sold him for more. I think we all know who that is. Well, in the last couple of days, and especially in the last few hours as well, we've we've uh, we've made a few signings as well, which is is very exciting. And I have to say, I have to say, I, I was quite concerned when we sold Matt Doherty. I thought, what are we what are we gonna do? Because I mean, the last couple of seasons, Foson have already uh, always pulled it out of the bag with transfers. We've seen Gian Moutinho arrive at the club for an absolute steal, £5 million. Pounds. We've seen, you know, Ruben Neves come while well, we're still a championship club for £15 million. Pounds. And since then, we, we've broken our transfer record, uh, club transfer record twice, which is, you know, absolutely incredible. We, we, ha we now have an absolutely incredible strike force. And, I mean... Fosun have taken us on leaps and bounds, but the thing that concerns me and possi possibly concerns many other Wolves fans is the way they go about transfers, and they're very secretive about transfers, and I mean, we, we hear rumours all the time, I mean, I've seen rumours that, you know, we might be getting Thomas Samar from Atletico Madrid, and this, that, and the other from, you know, often from European leagues. And, you know, if it's not from European leagues, it's it's from somewhere like Porto, where, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll allude to later, as obviously in the last couple of days we've broken our transfer record once again. But, it's, as I say, it's, it's very secretive the, the, the way they go about it, isn't it? Um, and it, it, obviously, it often makes us very worried, especially when they do deals that, you know, like a couple of seasons ago, we saw Barry Douglas when you know he never he never got his chance to prove himself in the Premier League. We sent him straight back to the Championship. Uh, we we bought Benica Fobe. He was absolutely amazing when we when we brought him back to the club for the second half of our promotion season a couple of years ago, and we bought him and we thought, oh, he's he's going to get an, another shot at the Premier League this time with us. And it it didn't really work out with Bournemouth, but you know maybe he might suit our style of play more and he might be more of a success in the Premier League, but. It was just really a bit, a bit. Well, in the end, it was probably a, a good bit of business. Really, we bought him, and then, and then made 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 a little bit of profit on it, a, a little bit of profit on him in the end. And you know, they, they've they've done they've done so, stuff like this uh, ever since really that they've, they've they've took over the club four years ago, and that's the way that they've gone about it. But. You know, it, it always make, makes us very concerned, especially at this transfer window more than ever, because we've had a, a good couple of seasons in the Premier League, two seventh place finishes. You could have argued we could have finished higher if it wasn't for that three letter word. You know, we've had a co good couple of seasons and it's always been the aim with Fos, Fos and they've, they've always wanted to improve year on year. And that's that's the whole new ethos of the club now we want we want to keep we, we want to keep on growing year on year and that's that's what we've done we've 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 made some impressive signings as 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 the years have gone on and we've really progressed and you know we we've really <laughs> gone above and beyond with expectations you know in the fir in the first season in, in 2018-19 um, no, we were just expected to survive, and yet we finished seventh and reached an FA Cup semi-final, and then it, and 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 also qualified for Europe. And then last season, we expect we were expected to struggle due to the demands of Europe. Yet 
the team did absolutely incredibly and just went above and beyond and finished seventh again, a bit unlucky not to finish higher, but also reached a, a European quarter final, which you know is absolutely incredible. So, I mean, it's sometimes we may, sometimes we may not <laughs> trust what was going on in the club, but I guess it 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 is all <laughs> it, it it is all for the best at the end of the day, and you know. Sometimes we do have to have to make some sacrifices to go forward, I suppose. Let's not talk about the you know questionable decisions. Let, let's let's focus on the positives, and there have been some positives in the last couple of days. Fabio Silva, our new record signing for thirty-five million pounds, has joined us from Porto. He looks very very exciting, and hopefully he can hit the ground running. And also we've I'll come on to Federico. Uh, Marcel, I think I think that's his name. I've not I've not been used to uh, I've not been used to this over the pa pa past few weeks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've we've made we've made a couple of signings and a couple of very exciting signings. Now, Fabio Silva, hopefully, as I say, he can hit the ground running, and that's that's what what we all hope. He's 18 years old. He's come from Porto. He's Porto's youngest ever player. And I believe I, I I believe he's already played in Europe as well. He, he came on maybe as a substitute. I I, re, I, re, I read some way he played he, he's played in a, a couple of games in, in Europe for Porto already. So and he, he's he's scored a bagfuls to bagfuls of goals. He's already made his well. I'm not. I don't think he's made his his, his full international debut yet. But he has played uh, for for the for the. Portugal uh, under under sixteens, under seventeens, what have you. So you know, it, look, it looks very very promising, and that's that's what what we we we're, we're kind of doing. It's it's we we've got very a very, a very young squad, and that's that's like the the kind of thing that we've we've been doing over the past few years, and more so ever since we've got to the Premier League. With we we've bought quite a young squad that can. That, that that can grow and have potential, and that's that's probably what that that's probably why we have we have done so well, because you know when we were last last in the Premier League, we were under the, the stewardship of of Steve Morgan, and especially under Jack Hayward as well. In 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 two thousand and three, our, our last a couple of stints in the Premier League, we've always got experience, and we we've got. We, Especially in that 03 04 team, we had good experience. We had Dennis Irwin, Paul Lintz, you know, Alex Ray, play, play, players who you know were at the very high, highest level at, at their peak in the Premier League. So you know, you could have argued that 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 team should should have survived really. But you know, we've always we've always had experience, but now. We, we, with signings like Fabio Silva and Ruben Neves, and Diogo Jota, you know, very, very, very youthful players, and you know, it happens. Most of them have been from Portugal, but that's, that's the, I guess that's the kind of thing we're doing. It's very, very exciting, and that's probably one of the main reasons why we've done so well. Is because we've not relied on experience yet. We've it, instead we, we've done the exact opposite and. Gone for a, for a more youthful side, and it will be interesting to see. Uh, interesting to see how how it de develops this season, and hopefully we can get a couple more signings in for before the, the transfer window slams shut. I mean, T Thomas Lamar has has been rumoured uh, over the past week. Uh, I've I've seen on social media. But I mean that's that's fairly unrealistic, isn't it? I mean it's it's a decent price. I've I've heard in the region of twenty to twenty five million euros. But I mean that's 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 very unrealistic. We've heard, you know, a, a few years ago. I remember we were linked with James Rodriguez. I think. I mean, you know, it would be lovely to have those signings, but you know. It, and and you know them pulling pull the wall shirt because I, I'd imagine they'd do very well, but 
<laughs> you know, at the end of the day, I guess you have to be realistic and, you know, those kind of players, they want to play in Europe. But unfortunately, due to that three-letter word, we, we're, uh, we're not playing in Europe this season. But hopefully, we can win a piece of silverware this season. I mean, we've, we've been drawn against Stoke in the second round of the League Cup. And if we get past Stoke, which I'm sure we will, I'm, I'm sure we will get past Stoke. But if we... If we uh, if we do get to get to the third round, then we'll play either Gillingham or Coventry. So it looks like well, we, we've had a we've had the look of a look of the draw so far. So we've we've got teams we've drawn up against teams we 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 should be beating. So hopefully we can progress nicely into into the fourth round. Obviously, there's there's no givens. You know, every, anything can happen. You know, Stoke uh, Stoke I've 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 seen have the have have done very well in pre season. They've beat they've beaten Leeds. They've beaten Newcastle recently. So, I mean, a anything any anything could happen really. And but I guess they they also de needed penalties to get back past Blackpool. So swings and roundabouts. But I mean, hopefully we can we can do well in the cup this season because you know we all know that that magical cup journey of eighteen nineteen where. It was almost we almost reached the first FA Cup final since nineteen sixty, but it was it, it was not to be. And hopefully, whether it's in the FA Cup or the League Cup, hopefully the FA Cup because the FA Cup obviously is is, is a more reputable cup competition to to reach a final and and even win. If you win the League Cup, then I mean for smaller teams like Bradford City who obviously didn't win it, they got absolutely thumped in the final. But when they when when they they reach the final and you know the, those kind of lower league teams, that they're, they're they they're they're more up for the cup, as they say. But hopefully, hopefully we can we we can win a cup and hope you know hopefully that 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 curse <laughs> that well I don't think there ever was a curse but hopefully hopefully you know. Cup tragedies can be can be put behind us, and and we can win a piece of silverware, which would, which would be pretty nice. It would be pretty nice, but I mean, look what happened happened to Watford after after they got absolutely hammered in the cup final. They 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 staged the comeback and you know went through, and look what happened to them last season. They're now in the championship, so. I mean, we we've got more financial backing than, than Watford, so maybe it wouldn't be as disastrous if we managed, if we if, if we had managed to re reach the cup final. But I'm I'm, I'm ram rambling on now, and uh, oh, that, that's that's a bit bit of an update really. Off, I've I've just had had a couple of weeks off, but I'm back at it now and. Well, the the Premier League starting next week, so I'm definitely going to be back back doing videos every single week do it about Wolves, and I'm very much enjoying it. And I'm very much enjoying enjoying this shirt. I've 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 not been tempted to 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 be uh, a a bit of a bit of a weird kid and, and get the away kit yet. And I don't think I don't think I will because I'm not I'm not too keen on it like like me, like many others are uh, are, uh, are not too keen on it either. But this is quite nice. Uh, <laughs> this will do for now. And uh, I hope I hope you, you you did enjoy this video. Many more to come. Don't worry, I won't go missing for another three weeks before the next upload. <laughs> but uh, I hope you I hope you did enjoy, and uh, I shall see you. Oh, I'll probably see you next week with the with with a video on the Sheffield United game, the opening game of the Premier League season. Until then, goodbye guys. <laughs>